Hello, Diane. How are you? Good. Hi, Diane. Good. Good. Now, um, uh, what we're talking about today, uh, just a brief testimonial here, or just some feedback from you mm -hmm. about um, when you came to see me a while ago now, we'll clarify that in a minute here, mm -hmm. um, to quit smoking. Mm -hmm. So um, Diane here um, for the audience used hypnosis to quit smoking. Mm -hmm. And now did you just come for one session? Yes. Back when you came? Yeah, Yeah, you really, really, and in fact, um, as per the website, it said either one, two, or three sessions, depending on mm -hmm. if the person had experienced hypnosis or their, uh, their commitment level or how long they've smoked. That all depends on the one, two, or three session options, what I usually recommend. But Diane at the time did come for, for just one, mm -hmm. okay, came in and did it. And so mm -hmm. that was... Uh, five four and a half five years ago four and a half years ago about four and a half years ago mm -hmm. yes so uh and uh she told me and she's gonna fill you in uh audience here in a minute about her experience a little bit about her experience and uh she came in that day four and a half years ago and walked out and never looked back to the uh, you know left those cigarettes in the past where they belong mm -hmm. so um tell us uh, just give us a little bit a uh, little bit of feedback there if you could a little bit of information diana about your experience. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, so when I came in and spoke with you, you would suggest for me that one session would do it. And I think that's because I had told you how I tried to quit smoking a number of times mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. that. Um, and so I came in, did the one session with you. You gave me a CD and you had told me to listen to it every day for three weeks. Um, so I did faithfully. And then you told me after that point to not to only use it when I needed to, if I felt like I needed the reinforcement. Mm -hmm, and since mm -hmm. then, I've only listened to it twice, actually. Um, but those first three weeks, I did listen to it every day. And I felt like uh, when you talked with me, you know, during the hypnosis session, I felt very relaxed. Um, and it felt like it, it worked great for me. Um, since then, my experience, so it's four and a half years, I never touched a cigarette after. <clears throat> and it seems like you've kind of just got into my head, pretty much. And... <laughs> Not in a scary the way, though. Way, but, that's but, the best way I can describe yeah, it, is okay. that when I do have urges, which I have many times had urges to have cigarettes since then, and I still do, um, but I kind of, the moment that I would actually really consider taking a cigarette and smoking it, I have this strong urge not to. And I just don't want to. I don't want anything to do with it. Um, and I, I never had. Because you did a little bit earlier today in our conversation before this recording, you said there was a... There was one time, especially, I think, well, we're not going to get into detail on that, but where you were really, really contemplating, and then you were surprised to when you yeah. actually kind of move forward to light one up or something, you were like, no, like, no way, or yeah. like a little voice inside. And that's how some people describe it, kind of like a little, like, not in an eerie, weird way, but there's like a voice within, like a little wake-up call reminder, hey, no way, yeah. type of... I've, type of thing that kind of overpowers that mm -hmm. that desire or that urge is that kind of pretty in a, much yeah in a nutshell kind mm -hmm. of the the uh, for my own you know when I used to smoke that was the experience I had mm -hmm. when I was hypnotized as well as what my clients say and, and from research and reading as well it's almost yeah. like that little that little voice within kind pretty of much. thing yeah yeah mm -hmm. like your, mm -hmm. your conscience telling you you don't want that um and this, the idea of it, once I've actually, there's been a, a few times where I thought I'm, I'm going to have a cigarette and then it's like the act of going to actually get the cigarette and then it just dismisses from me. Like that's, that sounds horrible and gross mm -hmm. and I don't want anything mm -hmm. to do with it. Mm -hmm. And then I don't. Well, congrats again. Congratulations. I mean, it's been four and a half years, but uh, mm -hmm. yes, and she over the years has sent me some several people, which I mm -hmm. uh, thank you for that as well. Um, and... Uh, can, uh, continued success and um, just always remembering one is done being a non-smoker and that's you can't just have the one and you know that and mm -hmm. and um, so uh, and now you're much healthier and uh, yeah. looking forward to your future as a non-smoker permanently so yeah absolutely all right well thanks again Diana can't appreciate it enough can't thank no you enough problem, Jay. Thank all right you're welcome mm -hmm.